Okay. Um, just so you guys know, or I want to conclude everything for today. Um, first day went really well. Uh, I hit level 70 legitimately, no exploits, by 10 hours and 14 minutes. Season 2 was 10 minutes and 40 seconds. No, 9 minutes and 40 seconds. Or 40 minutes. Oh, I'm sorry. I'm fucking this up. I'm sorry. Uh, I got to level 70 within 10 hours and 14 minutes. Season 2 was 9 hours and 40 minutes. I'm currently Paragon level 23. 13 hours and 13, eight, uh, 13 hours and 38 minutes in. Uh, I got a pretty basic gear. I got the helmet, int, vitality, critical percent chance, life on hit. I do have the Invit armor, and I actually got to reroll that Piranha damage is something else. That's embarrassing. Uh, I got the end critical percent chance critical damage. Looking for trifecta still. Uh, oh, no. Actually, showing my old gear. One second, guys. That's my old gear. It doesn't update for a while sometimes. I'm sorry. All right. So, yeah, I still need to fix the Piranha damage and get that to be all resistance or something else. I have the King Lord's crown, int, life percent, and critical chance, and then it gets the double effect of the life percent, which is pretty nice. Uh, the average damage, int, vitality, critical damage, uh, necklace, I'm trying to get a better one eventually of that. Uh, int, critical percent chance, critical damage, gloves, and you try effect it there. Pretty solid on the Zuni Masa, so I'll probably have that there for a while. Physical damage, int, vitality, critical percent chance, so that'll be there for a little bit. I got a nice Hellcast Waste Guard, int, vitality, attack speed, max damage on elites. Um, I have an int life percent crit percent chance socket with the with the uh, in pain enhancer, which gives 1,200 weapon damage as physical over three seconds, which is nice because I'm going to be building toward a physical fetish build. And then for my other legendary gem will probably be the pet gem followed by the gagak of swiftness. So I have increased attack speed, so I'm looking forward to that. Pants are pretty solid right now. Int vitality, all resistance, double socket, weapons very nice. Int, attack, speed, socket. Uh, unless I get like a legendary weapon that has 2200 or higher, I'm not going to try to reroll it because that's just going to waste materials. Uh, I got the Blackthorns boots, int, vitality, all resistance, uh, movement speed. And then I got lucky enough to get this nice Ukupun, uh serpent. So uh, what the goal is now is that uh, I'm looking for a cane set in the Og Hills. Og Hills will go on the shoulder and the bracer and eventually maybe the chest. But, uh, I'm pretty happy with what I got right now. But I am definitely looking for, uh, the cane set, the pants and shoes. That'll give me increased attack speed, Ogdol's shoulders and the bracers. And then hopefully I can get a, zoon, uh, a ring of royal grandeur and see what I can do from there. Uh, and then I just gotta start min-maxing all my gear out and wait for the legendaries to drop. Um, I don't have the pet gym yet. I really need to keep doing great risks and seeing what happens with that. But I'm really just preparing to get the two-piece canes and the, and the, and the three-piece Ogdals. Because once I get that, I'll be good to go. Because that's going to increase my DPS and survivability immensely. So that's why I'm not wasting my Forgotten Souls too much unless I absolutely have to. And uh, outside of that, a uh, typical uh, generic uh, Reina Toads build. Uh, Reina Toads with the Paranato. Spirit Walk with Jaunt. Summon Zombie Dogs with Lifelink. Restless Giant. Slam Dance, Big Bad Voodoo, Pierce the Veil, Fetish Sycophants, of course, to generate the fetishes, Grave Injustice to reduce the cooldown of the Big Bad Voodoo, and also Piranhas of Paranato, Midnight Feast to increase the damage of Gargantua and Zombie Dogs. And uh, sitting at 598k damage, 5.4k toughness, uh, five, I'm sorry, 5.4 mil toughness. Uh, my attacks per second is 1.71, my critical chance is 47%. 272 uh, percent increased critical damage and of course my armor is 61 percent which is really nice so i'm gonna bring you guys an update tomorrow uh, i'm pretty tired right now uh i'm gonna separate this into two different videos one video of my level 1 to 10 greater rift the first greater rift i got i stopped it at level 10 i probably could have kept going to maybe about 12 or 13 but i'm really tired right now and i just wanted to upgrade my gym uh 13 hours 43 minutes as always i appreciate you guys watching my videos I'm Debo, and I will give you guys an update tomorrow. I'll see you later.